Welcome back friends. So can you haul that fifth wheel, that big fifth wheel you just bought with a three quarter ton truck? Most people feel that if you go out and you buy a three quarter ton truck, especially the diesel guys, uh, that you can basically do whatever you want now. And that's just not the case. I've got some surprising numbers for you about this subject, so stay tuned. guys so first and foremost coming to you from the garage it has been raining here for what seems like a month uh, doesn't really matter but just let giving you a heads up on that uh, I wanted to do this video not to call anybody out not to make anybody upset but just to share some what I feel like is very important information I see a lot of folks on the forums and the Facebook groups giving travel trailer owners a hard time for towing inadequately and in a lot of cases uh, that is a good thing because we don't want uh, people being unsafe out there but I also see a lot of fifth wheel owners driving around uh, towing with three quarter ton trucks that I know good and well are overloaded. And I'm going to show you the data that kind of proves that in just a few minutes. So the first thing I want to do is talk about the payloads of these modern uh, three quarter ton trucks. Okay, so I've included a graphic here. And you'll see it up on your screen. And I've also put the, the Nissan, I've included uh, vehicles from all three manufacturers but also included the Nissan XD because the Nissan XD seems to be becoming more and more popular for folks and uh, RV owners. So uh, you'll see there Nissan XD with the Cummins diesel, a payload of 1488, 1488 pounds. Uh, and these are completely random vehicles, by the way, that I just went on Carfax and I just chose some completely random vehicles, uh, most of them three quarter ton, of course, to show you what I mean here. So. The next one was a 2016 F-250 Lariat with the Power Stroke, had a payload of 1,777 pounds. Uh, the next one was a 2018 Lariat with uh, 2,060 pounds. 2015 Rams with the Cummins, uh, 2,161. Uh, 2013 F-250 Gas, that's actually my truck, has a payload of 2,598. And a 2018 Chevy Silverado, this was a high country edition. Uh, with the Duramax coming in at $29.51. So I'm going to leave that up there just for you to take a look at that. But what I found interesting and when I was shopping for three quarter ton trucks a little over a year ago was even though $250 or $2,500 is in the model number, um, they don't have that much payload. So and keep in mind the reason being is the diesel option is just that. It's an option. So you start as a base of gas most all of the gas models are going to have a 2500 payload or more and then once you put that heavy heavy diesel in there it drops the payload dramatically so i think this is important to look at as far as truck shopping and if you're going for a fifth wheel and you need to find a tow vehicle to go with it i think this information is super important all right so i know what you're thinking dude you're crazy i've got the 355 gears i can tow 18,000 pounds the this Power Stroke is a beast, and you are right, the Power Stroke is a beast. But I'm not talking about your towing capacity, I'm talking about your payload here. And uh, well, I'm gonna use Ford and ex as an example, but it kind of translates over to the other manufacturers as well. This is with the 6.7 Power Stroke option. So like I said before, this is an option that decreases your payload significantly. So you can get into an F-250 with the diesel at a payload of 1,560 pounds. That is less than most F-150s, especially now that they've moved over to the aluminum bodies. Uh, a matter of fact, you're gonna be hard pressed to find an F-150 with less payload, okay? Uh, it does, the payload does go all the way up to 3,051 pounds, but that's gonna be for a regular cab, regular bed, four by two F-250. Uh, that's gonna be a short wheelbase truck. You're gonna be able to haul like crazy in it, uh, but it's not gonna be that great of a towing experience because of the short wheelbase. So keep that in mind. This is all I'm trying to tell you. Uh, after that, all of the other diesels on the Ford side have a payload of less at or less than 2,330 pounds. So they don't even reach that 250 mark that they advertise on their badge. So it's very interesting research. Uh, I found it extremely interesting, especially when looking at pin weights. So that's next, let's check out some pin weights. 
All right, pin weight. So I wanted to be fair when it came to pin weight. So all I did, I went on Google and I just chose the top three fifth wheels. Uh, I think for 2017, I'm, don't, I'm not sure if they have the information for 18 yet, but top three fifth wheels. And what came up was the Keystone Cougar, the Cedar Creek Silverback, and the Coachman Chaparral. So we're gonna look at those pin weights a little bit. All right, first up is the Keystone Cougar. You can see those pin weights range from 1,874 pounds all the way up to 2,750 pounds. Next up, the Cedar Creek Silverback. Uh, starting uh, the lowest pin weight for one of those is 1,965 pounds. And that pin weight goes all the way up to 2,764 pounds. And then finally, the Coachman Chaparral. Those are nice rigs. We have friends that have one. That one, those start at 1,880 pounds, of course, depending on floor plan, and go up to 2,310 pounds. Now, keep in mind, these are dry pin weights. So most of the time, the bedroom's in the front, in, in general, and you're gonna add clothes, you're gonna add toiletries, you're gonna add just all of the little trinkets that you add, you, know, you, you may haul water, you may, you're gonna put stuff in lower storage. So that pin weight is only gonna go up, and I think by now you figured out exactly where I'm going with all this. All right, so as you can see, in most cases, all right, this is not rare, this is, a, this is most common. In most cases, you're gonna blow through your payload on your three-quarter ton truck before you even get in to drive it, all right? If you're hooking up that fifth wheel and you've got a 2,000 pound payload, which is very common for a three quarter ton diesel truck, and you throw on a 2,500 pound pin weight in the back of that thing, you're already 500 pounds over your payload. Um, you can do the math, you don't need that to me for, to do that for you, but just understand why is all of this important? Well, there's a big concern out there, then, and it's really hard to find this information actually, but if you're towing overloaded, okay, because I know there's going to be people out there saying, well, I've, I've crossed the country in my F-250 with my, my pin weight being this and my payload being this, and I haven't had any issues. Or I've been towing for 25 years in an F-250 or a 2500 series truck, no issues, okay? I understand all of that. I'm not trying to tell you, I'm not trying to get on to you, all right? That's, that's, I, don't, I ain't got time for that. But what I am saying is, what is important is, if you were to get in an accident, heaven forbid any of this happens, okay? But if you were to get in an accident and somebody's injured, or even worse, somebody loses their life, please understand that attorneys become involved. Accident investigators become involved. Very highly trained accident investigators. And if they find that you're overloaded, that's gonna become a huge, at best case scenario, a huge financial burden for you, okay? Um, I, I can't find any, any information as far as any criminal charges against people, but I will say that as far as financially, your insurance is not gonna cover people's injuries. And we all know how much medical bills can pile up. So that's really the whole point of this is to help those who haven't bought their tow vehicle yet, you have a fifth wheel, and those of you that are in a F-250 that may have one of those lower payloads, please check your payload sticker. And you know what you do about it is up to you, but I think the information is important to get out because I really don't see that much information on this subject. So most of, this, most of the information is on travel trailers and people inadequately towing travel trailers, which that's important as well. But I think that a lot of the fifth wheel guys are just as guilty. So check those payload stickers and I hope this video helps somebody out there. If even one person is helped by it, that would be great. Thanks for watching guys and make sure to subscribe. Okay, so pin weight. So I wanted to make sure that I got a fair uh, gathering of, oh, what a, I'm just totally not. All right, so pin weight. Uh, I wanted to get a good, uh, they're well over payload. So let's get right back into it. Not back into it, good Lord. <laughs> 